Yo, what's up guys? My name is Glock and welcome to MU Origin 2. Yep, this is the second installment of the mobile game adaptation of the hit MU game back in 2003. If you guys can remember, yep, uh, MU was one of the most sensational MMORPGs back then in the Philippines. It even had this cringy uh, uh, television ads that I still can't, I can kind of remember. Besides, it, it, it involved like a couple saying that I want MU and all that. It was just very cringy, but hey, that, that's how sensational it was. All right, a lot of people have played it. I played it for a bit, but I didn't really get into it. But hey, uh, from what I remember about MU was the flashy armor that you, you're seeing right now on the screen. There's like a hue of red, blue, and yellow. That's what I remembered back then. And I'm glad to see they're still very faithful to the original material. So this is the second installment, like I said, in the mobile Android game. Um, uh, it's also licensed by officially licensed by Webzin and developed by the same studio as MU Origin, which was published by Game Now. So I think this game came out around 2003 in Thailand, and then I'm not really sure when it came out on the Philippines. I think it, it came out on 2004. I'm not really sure, but uh, you'll be glad to know if you're uh, an original player of MU, you'll, you'll be glad to know that most of its original elements is still here. And it's actually a lot more optimized than the previous one. I can, I can remember just how laggy MU was when we still had like those really weak PCs, but it, it was, this game was very ahead of its time. Like it was open world you can have lots of boss battles and people were grinding everywhere and considering that the graphics was really nice back then and if i may say the graphics still looks pretty nice here in the mobile version look at that Woo -wee. oops oops sorry <laughs> the mount so i'm currently using an android emulator because my uh, mirroring app isn't working properly right now so yep no choice but hey it still works pretty cool and um, I think it's a lot more chill playing the PC. But if you have a uh, if you have a new smartphone, you can probably play this uh, with no problems. All right, Whew. there you go. I want to see my sexy character. Yeah. Uh, what I have here is an archer. All right. Her her name is Jillian. <laughs> if you were an MU player back then, and if you had this awesome looking wings, that means either you were rich. Or you were very addicted to the game. Wings in this game is kind of like a symbol of power and um, and uh, pride and author not really authority but rank. Okay, the prettier your wings are, the stronger you are, something like that. So, yep, Emu was one of the first that uh, used the concept of wings in in MMORPGs. So that's how. Uh, Notable this RPG is so as you can see guys. I'm being attacked by a boss It's called the death king and uh, With my current level. It's really weak. I can't even attack it because it's too weak. All right, that's the kind of uh, uh, Program or rules this game has Like if you're stronger than the boss you can't attack it as well and uh, the the boss can't attack you as well, so it's all good. You know what? Might as well show you guys how the combat works. So, there's buttons right over here. Your skills are over here. They're, it's pretty familiar with the other mobile RPGs out there. So, you shouldn't have any problems adjusting to this one. So, it works the same way. You have skills here. Just click it or tap it, whatever, whatever you're using. As you can see, I can't really damage the guy because I'm stronger than him. I'm pretty OP. So, yeah. That's how the, the combat works here. I think there are like three classes. There's a warrior, there's uh, this archer, and the mage. Not sure if there are other classes coming out, but just, you know, better watch out. So yeah, pretty much it for combat and um, boss battles. Um, later on, I'll show you guys a proper boss battle, okay? So as you can see, there's another NPC right over here. And he's donning red wings. He's probably a warrior. And... Like I said, <laughs> only the chosen warrior deserves the warrior sword. Your voice doesn't really suit you, but talking about suits, your suit of armor looks freaking nice. So if you're a warrior class, you'll have these type of armors. They're red in color and they flash red like lava. So yeah, that, that, that's the whole point why I came out of here. And don't worry, just like in the classic MU, there's a gate here separating the monsters from the players. So once you get or uh, cross the blue line here in the city, you're safe. See? 
Look at this guy. Dual wielding, very flashy. Quentin the Demon God, I won't allow you to harm <laughs> anyone this time. All right, I am not feeling the the voice acting with these guys, but hey, they look cool. So MU Origin 2 has a dynamic camera. You can zoom in and zoom out or change the angle as you please see that. It's pretty cool. It's very close to the original game, so for those who are purists to MU, you might want to check this game out. All right, and also, you'll love this. If you go to the world map right over here, you can see that most of the original maps are still here. Like Atlans, yeah, I miss Atlans. Let's go to Atlans. I want to see how Atlans looks like. Back then, uh, a lot of players loved, you know, grinding here in Atlans. See, I remember Atlans being darker than this, but hey, it's the same thing. See, even the monsters are still here. Whoopsie. See that? I'm way too OP. <laughs> All right, let's go back. By the way, this game is open world. You can um, travel pretty much anywhere for a fee. You can transport or you can travel manually through these portals, just like in the original MU. So let's go back to Noria. There you go. See? Gucci, this is a boss again. So I can't really attack her properly because, um, again, the target level is too low. <laughs> And uh, you can also see in the maps here, there are teleport points. Like if you go here, boop! It's pretty cool. See that? You can pretty much just uh, grind and explore manually. There's even an auto battle right over here, if you can see this. If you auto battle, it automatically grinds for you. See? You don't have to do anything. Like, I I've been seeing this type of feature in a lot of MMORPG mobile games, so... Um, as for me, probably it's a, it's a nice idea, especially if you're a busy guy and you don't have time to grind, so you use that, but as, an, as a purist in MMORPG gaming, uh, it doesn't really appeal much to me, but eh. To his, to each his own. All right, now let me show you guys how the skill system works in this game. Um, you can actually upgrade your skills in two ways. Uh, usually the one on the right. Let's say, for example, um, my scatter shot. If you upgrade the right one, it gives you a, a wider area of effect. But if you upgrade the left part, it gives you like an elemental bonus. Okay, that's the, that. It it's the same towards other. Uh, uh, what are you called? Other skills. So, right side always goes for a larger area, left side goes for uh, some kind of elemental damage or some kind of debuff to that skill. So, it's up to you. It's up to your play style. So, if you're more into PvP, I'm pretty sure you, you would go for uh, this one, the, the left side. But if you're more into grinding and boss fighting, then uh, you'd go for the right side, okay? That's how it is. It's pretty simple. Very nifty. As for my character, this is my current character. See that? Oh, she is flashy. <laughs> she looks more like a boss than a character. See that? Oh, man. I wish it was green colored though instead of yellow, you know, just to signify they're elves, but hey. Yellow works, I guess. So, um, you have a Horcrux here, the one that's you know, rotating or satelliting around my character, or sorry, orbiting around my character. It gives bonus. You can also evolve your current character into a holy archer or, you know, transcend them into another class, but I'm not gonna do that right now. The spirit system is still here. It's the familiar that keeps following you around. It also gives you some bonus points. And you have your mount. Which, I don't know why it's called a unicorn. <laughs> it's not a unicorn. It's not a unicorn. It's actually a nightmare. Alright. So, you can unlock other uh, mounts here like this one. Now, that's a freaking unicorn. If you want a freaking hog? Here you go. If you want a cooler looking horse here. You can even ride a freaking duck. How cool is that, guys? <laughs> I want to I wanna ride the duck. I want to activate it. Oh, I don't have one. Ah. Too bad. Now you can also check out your wings. My wing right now is this one. Rank 1 star, 98 BP. Just in the server though. See? You can even upgrade it. But... Ooh, nice. Check out my armor. Look at that! They're all upgraded 
to the max, and they look very flashy. Ooh, wee. Man. Can't wait to see other people's armor. I mean, well, my armor is pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure like the mages and the warriors have their own really flashy armor. So I can't wait for that one. All right, so enough of the aesthetics, guys. I'm going to show you how uh, a boss fight happens, all right? So since I max, everything's pretty easy. You can go for a demon tower, or you can just go for a solo dungeon. So let's try... Um, hmm. Alright, let's take out the Ice Queen right over here. Yes, I'll go solo. Alright, this should be very easy. Like, very, very easy. All right? Won't be a challenge at all. So here we go. I'm gonna use the scatter arrows right over here. Oop. Sorry, the arrow rain, whatever. Actually, I can just use my normal attack. See? It's pretty cool. Very easy. Dungeons are very straightforward. Scatter arrow right over here. Clear them out. It's all good. You gotta be careful in uh, uh, using up your mana, guys. So you can take them out. It's just uh, normal attacks, and that's good. It's, it's more efficient that way. See? Teleport there. Boom. This should be the boss fight. Ikuyo. I'll make your tombstone with snow. <laughs> I'm really not feeling the freaking <laughs> uh, like all this voice acting. See, very easy. Yay! So what you saw right now was very easy, of course, because that's my first time clearing this dungeon. But as you clear it again and again, it's gonna get harder and harder. Okay, so this was just for demo purposes. All right, guys. So. Yeah. Alright, so I think I pretty much showed you guys how um, the battle system works. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is a bit of PvP. Alright, so there are actually uh, three PvP modes in this game. Some of them are scheduled in certain times and certain days. And there's just a, and then there's one that's open PvP, which is, you know, just attacking random players who you see out in the world. In order for us to PvP, I have to um, evolve my archer first to a holy archer so here we go we have three emperor's tomes which this should work so there you go evolve nice awesome we're now a freaking holy archer we can still evolve if we have more emperor's tomb but that's okay now uh the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the arena and to do that let's just go to the quest right over here no no, no not that one Sorry, um, b -b 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 events. And then Arena PK right over here. Awesome. We're gonna We're gonna deal with this guy. <laughs> Alright, so let's go for this one. A stronger opponent. Look at that BP. Oh god. <laughs> Seems like she's gonna kick our ass, so. Here we go, boys! Let's power up! And then we should be good. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Click everything, just click everything. Wow. Nice so. Wow, she's giving me a hard time, guys. <laughs> oop, 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 oop. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ooh, I can do that. Alright, that's cool. I'm oh, sorry. Come on, let's do it. Oop. That hurt. Heal. Oh, you, you know, good thing she's not healing. Oof. That's a lot of damage. Come on. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Suck it. <laughs> that was hard. Man. 
All right, that's cool. So that's how PvP works. All right, that's it for PvP, guys. And that's it for MU Origin 2, if you guys want to try it out. Also, if you guys have any suggestions to the developers, let me know in the comments as well, guys. Or sorry, let them know. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.